welcome back to crazy ponies so today's video is a little bit different as we have some very exciting news to share with you all so i am not gonna like drag this out too long i think i'm just gonna say it and that is that we now have an arena at home and to be honest this is still such a dream come true i can't even explain to you how amazing this is and how much this will change all of our riding and everything with our horses basically we have our own private yard and we didn't have an arena here so it's very difficult finding the right time to ride because in summer the fields are far too hard to do really anything and in the winter here in the uk it just rains all the time and it's just flooded basically out on the field so no time for riding and where we are the hacking is absolutely awful the cars just don't respect horses so it makes it really difficult to ride especially with like the roads we have around here people just don't drive sensibly well some people do but not many and it's just far too dangerous to ride out there so winter time is always a very big struggle with exercising the horses because having nowhere to exercise them means that they don't get fit it means that by the time summer comes around again and like competitions and everything the horses aren't fit makes it a lot harder they have a lot more energy because they're not being ridden so having an arena will just absolutely change everything it means that i can keep rosie nice and fit all winter long train all winter and keep her ready for the competition season starting in march whenever because obviously we want to do a lot more eventing next year so training is a must with getting your horses fit ready and obviously myself and my own riding needs to make sure that keeps improving and also we have two youngsters if you don't know winnie and bailey and winnie is three almost four next year and bailey is two and he'll be three next year in may so they're getting ready to start their groundwork and they're breaking in so we can get a lot of that done now that we have an arena and also if you don't know we have another horse called summer who is 27 she has had laminitis a few times in the past and she really needs to be exercised often to keep her circulation moving to make sure she doesn't get the laminitis because her laminitis is ems which is sugar basically and if she just stands around and doesn't move then basically her her blood circulation isn't working, her metabolism isn't working. So she needs to be moving and exercising, which is lunging, all of that, and maybe a bit of riding if she gets a lot less crazy because she is absolutely crazy. She's 27, but I don't think she knows she's 27. So she needs to get lunging and moving, which we have already started now that we have an arena. So today we thought we would take you up to the arena, show you it, let you see me riding Rosie and Summer being lunged and I'm sure there will be plenty more videos of us riding in there or anything really. I think I should just say quickly a massive thank you to our mum and our family for like it's just the best thing ever and none of it would be possible without them and this is just like the biggest dream come true so I should definitely need to say a massive thank you to our mum because she's just the best and this i honestly i know i keep saying it but i just can't believe that we now have an arena so we'll we're gonna get rosie up there and we're gonna give her a ride we've got a little exercise set out so i think i've said everything that i need to so i'm sure over lots more videos there will be more of us riding more like jumping exercises schooling dressage practice and summer as well obviously and winnie and bailey in the future as well so let's get up there and show you the arena so here we are now in the arena and as you can see I've got some tinsel on, Rosie has got some snowmen on her neck but you can't see them just yet. As it is December and it is almost Christmas and we love Christmas so I thought we'll make it a little bit Christmassy. So we are in the arena now and it is just absolutely stunning, I love it so much. So does Rosie although she's like, can we just get on now anyway? So we have a little exercise set out that we're going to have a little play over and Rosie hopefully will have lots of fun. So you'll see a bit more of what it is as we're riding it, but we're going to get going now before it rains and we can talk more about the arena later. Let's go. Come on. So I thought I would talk to you guys quickly while I'm giving Rudy a little walk around to warm her up. So this is just the best thing that has ever ever happened having an arena here as as you might know me and rosie are 
inspiring to vent. So we did do a bit of eventing this season and we aim to do a lot more of it next season. So having this through the hip, you can train all winter long, no matter the weather, no matter the ground. And obviously we have never had an arena before, so ground has always been the biggest issue. In the summer it's too hard, in the winter it's too soft and wet. Having this arena here means that no matter the weather, no matter the summer, the winter, we can train all year round and keep Rosie and all the other horses nice and fit. I'm just going to change the rain. Um, so this exercise we have going on here is four poles set out on a 20 meter circle and it's nothing strenuous, no jumping. It's really just about consistency and getting Rosie stronger and getting my rider more on it as we need the same amount of strides through each pole on both reins over every pole. So although that might sound easy, it's a lot harder than it sounds. So I will talk to you guys some more later. I'm going to get Rosie all warmed up and then we'll get cracking with this exercise. I've just had a walk and trot around the arena and we're just about to have a canter on both reins, get her muscles nice and warmed up and then we'll get going on the exercise. Well, it just fell off your head. My tinsel came off, so I think I'm going to leave that off for now. As you probably, you've probably seen it, but it came off, so I'm going to leave it off now because it's too much hassle to try and get that back on. But Rosie's still rocking the snowman, so let's have a canter on the other rain now. me a little bit for the last one but that was okay because she got the full circle so we're going to try it on the other ring Rosie found that rain a lot harder than the other one, so I will try again on this rain and we'll see if we can get it a little bit better. Jumping massive every day, so let's get back to Rosie. 
It's like that wet stuff that's so cute. We're going to do it once more on the other rain because I've realised she's finding four strides a lot more easy than five with the jump. So I'm going to let her do the four strides, hopefully get a full circle of that, and then we're going to go in because it's chucking it down. Yeah. Good girl. She's like it's raining. <laughs> Save oh. me. Well done. So she's done that really nicely on both rains and we've probably been out here about 20 minutes, half an hour. So I think we're gonna end it now and we are gonna bring Summer out here for a lunge as well. So we will show you all that. But we're gonna call her off and get back to the yard now. Good girl. Well done. So here you can see we are lunging summer and she is looking really good as you can see she loves the arena this is actually the calmest she's been while being up there so i'm just going to say quickly another massive thank you to our amazing mum and stepdad for this incredible arena we love it so much but this will be the end of today's video we really hope you enjoyed and if you did please like and subscribe as we really appreciate it and we'll see you in the next video